Hey guys, it's me Kelly and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm doing this look. Want to see it close up? Here, I'll show you. It's blue and purple clouds on my eyelids. I think it turned out really good. It took a lot of trial and error to get this exact pattern going on. So if you want to learn how I did it, keep on watching. First, I'm going to use my Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer and just prime all over my face. The way I do my brows is that I line the top, line the bottom, fill it in, and then use concealer to sharpen it up. Always use your spoolie to brush out the hairs so the lines are all blended. And now I have my clear brow gel from Anastasia Beverly Hills. When eyebrow is done, I'm just going to do that to the other one and be right back. I did both eyebrows. It kind of took me a while to get them even because I haven't done makeup in a long time. So for the eyes, I did this eye off camera because I didn't really know what I really wanted to do. So I just did a lot of trial and error and this is what I came up with. So now I'm going to teach you how to do that on this eye. First, we're going to prime our lid. This is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. So I got a voice over this part because the audio got cut off, but we're going to take the Blue Moon Palette in the shade Fine China. Tap off the excess and we're going to blend that in our crease on the outer half of our eye. And just pack that all over our lid. This color is really pretty. We're going to get this fluffy brush and blend it out. I like to wing out my shadow. Especially for this look because it's going to have a lot of clouds and stuff. Now we're taking this light blue shade and we're going to blend it out more. I'm blending the eyeshadow really high up close to my eyebrow because we need a lot of space for the clouds. Now we're taking this dark purple from the Lilac You A Lot palette and we're packing it on our inner half of our lid. Making sure to go over the blue to blend it. Once that's all packed on, we're going to get a fluffy brush and blend out the middle. And now we're getting this light lavender color and blending out the rest of the purple. And now we're taking this bluish purple shade from the Blue Moon palette and blending those two shades together. Now we're onto the clouds and my original audio is back. What I found works pretty well is this dome brush that's flat and really small. It's also pretty stiff and coating this in white concealer and then like kind of stamping it on your eye. So I'm gonna get the Makeup Revolution white concealer and just putting a lot of this on the back of my hand. Give it a nice coat. We're just gonna keep on pressing and then going a little lower and pressing, making a circle, and then going on this side too. And now we're getting this really small pointed brush with the dark blue shade, and we're just going to shade the clouds by going underneath, kind of dragging it out too. Now that we have that base, we're going to make it a little more 3D by adding more layers of clouds. So we're going to get the white concealer again, and then pressing like that, and another one over there, and blend it out. So there you go. I did a bigger cloud on this side. Doing clouds is a lot of layering and shading. So I got this big cloud on this side. I'm just going to add a few more bumps to wing it out a bit. I'm going to stay on the blue side and do this cloud on this side. So I did the blue side and now I'm going to move over to the purple side. So I did that big cloud in the front and now I'm going to do the top right here, fill that empty gap. I 
I got both eyes as similar as I can get. And now we're going to go onto the face. I'm taking my Bobbi Brown Skin Longwear Weightless Foundation and a damp beauty sponge and just cover my whole face. This is the first time I'm using this foundation. And so far, it smells like old people going in with my mini beauty sponge to get in between the eyebrows. And now I'm getting the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Fairlight Neutral under my eye, forehead, chin. And I'm also taking my concealer in Light Neutral, which I use to conceal my brows. And just going over a few blemishes really lightly. Blend it out. So this part is a little tricky. You don't want to let your concealer mess up your eyeshadow. So go slow. Maybe use a mini. Now we're going to take a little brush, an eyeshadow brush, and just tap on our little concealed blemishes. This gives it way more coverage. Now we're going to take a little pressed powder all over our face. And then we're going to get our Peach Perfect Setting Powder, taking a little into the cap. I have this rectangle sponge. You could use your regular beauty blender, but I like this. And I'm going to press it just like that to sit under the eye. Get our contour brush with our Benefit Hula Bronzer. And now I'm going to get a fan brush get that same setting powder and you're going to sharpen up your contour and we're going to wipe off the bake. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Blush Trio um, and Pool Party. Kind of like mix them together. Lightly hit your cheekbones. So now we're going to go back to our lower lash line. The bottom blue and then we're going to get a big fluffy brush with the lightest shade and smoke it out darkest purple shade, blending it under my eye into the blue also. And the lighter purple, I'm blending it out over here. Just like that. Ooh, I like that. Now I'm going to highlight with the Ofra Star Island Highlighter. Getting a smaller pointed brush, highlighting my nose and in between my eyes on my nose bridge. Also my inner corners. So I'm going to line my lips in the ColourPop pencil called Curvy. This is the first time I'm using this too. Wow, this video is full of firsts. 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 First. First plural. I don't know. I can't pronounce it. Firsts. Firsts. I'm so bad at lining my lips. So I'm getting some concealer and cleaning it up. Now I'm taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in On Mute and filling in the rest of my lips. So my camera battery died, so I've been waiting for it and I took out my hair tie. Back to my lips, right? I want to change the color because it's a little dark. I want a, li a little bit lighter. So instead of on mute, I'm going to use sand. I'm going to put on my Fenty gloss on top. For lashes, I got Nimbus Lashes in the style Wings. I like to put my lash glue on my lashes and hold it there while I put on my mascara so that it has time to dry. You don't need to put on that much mascara if you are putting on fake lashes. So I just put a tiny little bit. Both of the lashes are on, obviously. If you guys like these lashes and want to buy them, the link is in my description. It's my business, so if you want to help me out, then please buy my lashes. It would mean the world to me.
I really like how it looks. It looks so cute and whimsical. And just some final thoughts. I know this isn't really a review video, but I did try these two palettes for the first time. And honestly, I really like it. The pigmentation is really good. It blends very easily. There is quite a bit of fallout. The only downside to fallout is that it makes your palette messy. But other than that, I usually do my eyeshadow first. So I give it a 10 out of 10, especially for its price too. Also, I tried this curvy lip liner for the first time. This is the one that James Charles talks about. Really good. It's very easy to apply. I'm not very good at lip liner, but I usually use the NYX lip liners. But the ColourPop one was definitely a lot smoother in application. So I give it that, 10 out of 10. Also, this Bobbi Brown foundation that I tried for the first time today, it's honestly pretty good. Very lightweight. I would use again. Oh yeah, and I tried the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick in both these colors for the first time also. The formula is very nice. Yeah, the color is really pretty too. Like, it's a perfect nude. All right, so that's all I have for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to do these clouds. And if you followed along, I hope you learned something. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.